I mean, my friend, this book is the most, uh, uh, please don't think I'm trying to insult you. This is the most right. stupid book ever I read. So when you keep saying to me how he can write this book, how he can write this book, Muhammad, he did not write the book. This is a bunch of collection of stupid stories that don't make sense. Have you, like, as an example, did you read the chapter 18 in the Quran? Yes. Okay. Some bits. Okay. Isn't it, is, is that something somebody he have any little brain will, will say? That the sun set in the murky water? Well, you're also talking about um, Alexander the Great, wasn't it? Yeah, he's talking about Alexander the Great, absolutely. Okay. So Alexander the Great, suddenly he became a messenger of Allah. But Alexander the Great, he is a homosexual and he is a bisexual. It's not, it's not, it's not saying that, is it? It is, because if you go and read the interpretation, you will see that this is the person, they call him the man with the two horns. This is a story written by a Syrian writer, a fiction story about a true person, which is Alexander the Great. And they called him the man with the two horn. Why? Because when he go in war, he wear a hat, have two horns. But according to Muslims, and this is their explanation, uh, they say that he was called such a name because when he invited his people to Islam, his people did beat him with the hammer in his head, like, boing, and then he got the first horn. And then after that, Allah, he raised him from death and he sent him again to his people. And then when he came to his people, they, you know, he said to them again, convert to Islam. And they did beat him again with the hammer in his head. Boing, and he got the second horn. And this is why he was called Zulkarnain, which means the man with the two horn. Otherwise, it's going to be funny to call somebody a guy with the two horn. Why is a cow? Who well, is probably a wasn't meaning the literal sense. Um, no, it's mean. No, it's mean. Zulkarnain. The man, Zul, Zul in Arabic. Zul, which means the one with. Kornain, which means two horn. As simple as that. And look here, Allah is talking supposedly. They asked thee concerning Zul Qurnain, Say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. So the one is telling us the story is Allah. But then the story is really crazy. He says that we, verily we establish his power on the earth, speaking about the king who controlled all the earth and gave him all the way and the, and the means to the end. And then it says, On such he, a way he followed until he reached the sitting sun of the sun and he found it sitting in a spring of murky water. <laughs> This is God talking? This is the miracle you are talking about? The sun sitting in murky water? Probably um, it was meant to be sitting in a different way. I don't know. No, my friend, it says it clearly. Sitting, I know the Muslim, they try to make it appear to be something. But Muhammad, your prophet, he cannot get himself uh, mute. So he get himself busted. So Muhammad, in the, in the hadith, he explained this verse. And he said, uh, let's see. You see the hadith with me? Yes, I do. Okay. So it says, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger, the Messenger of Allah, uh, S A W S, uh, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. And he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his messengers knows best, which means this is the knowledge of Allah because Muhammad is not speaking of his own. He said, It's set in a spring of warm water. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. By the way, I used to live there. I mean, I always used to see the sun setting in murky water. It was the dish where my grandmother washed the, the clothes. I mean, this is obvious. This is a lie. And this is going to be something to be proud about. Yeah, that would be funny, to be honest. Thank you very much. I can tell that this gentleman is a nice person. And he have a patient, by the way, because I'm being very sarcastic. But he is not getting upset. I respect that of him. But my friend, you as a person coming from a good family, and you have a brain, and I can tell you, you know, you have a little bit of education. Do you want to accept such a thing to be follow? And they told you Muhammad is amazing. And Quran, how you can write the Quran? The Quran is the most stupid book ever I saw. Well, to be honest, I believe what my parents have been um, teaching me, um, telling me. So, um, yeah, to be honest, I haven't read the whole Quran. Um, so, yeah. So, are you willing to leave Islam, my friend? Um, well, um, okay, no, don't don't leave Islam yet. Let us give you more chance. Let us say. Let us see if maybe there is something left is good in this religion. Give me something else. Give me an example. Forget about this. Oh, did you hear about the flying carpet as an example?